So we're going to have to block traffic for him so he doesn't get hit. Oh! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs>
And there we are. Alright, so it's starting to get a little dark here, so we have spent quite a lot of time with these guys. And we're going to be en route to the station, finally. Uh, but like I was trying to say earlier with this car, this was actually custom made for me by Quantum HD. Uh, he's a great YouTuber and great modder, just in general, so I'll leave a link to his channel. So definitely check him out, and thanks Quantum for the excellent car. Alright, so we are back on patrol. We're going to be back 10-8 here in a second. I'm thinking we're probably going to stay in Broker. I would like to kind of switch it up. Oh, LPR just got a hit. This vehicle was apparently involved in a hit and run with a pedestrian. And wow, it looks like they're also drunk. It looked like I saw some weaving uh, going on there just a second ago. We're going to let them kind of pull through this intersection as soon as it turns green. And keep an eye on them, but I believe we have DUI. Uh, looks to be a female driver. It's occupied one time. Definitely intoxicated. Wow. Let's go in. Oh, oh man. No, it's a male. I think it's a male. Alright, so... Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Oh man, we're gonna need a minute down here. Alright, so we've got one in custody. Wow. We are going to definitely need medics down here, so let's go ahead and try to call for them. Wow. Uh, we're going to take them ourselves since we are right here at the station. Literally right across the street. And I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the bag here. Uh, I should probably go ahead and frisk him first, just to make sure. I mean, he's drunk, but drunk people can be more than just a, a nuisance. They can definitely be dangerous as well. Alright, so we're going to frisk. The problem is that the pedestrian is still actually crunched in that car, like in the front of that car, so I'll probably have to back the truck up. Found nothing, okay. So now I'm going to take him back into custody. Man, paramedic, can you please go around? I mean, it's obvious that you can get around me here. Yeah, I don't I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of freaking out a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to back this truck up just a little bit for the medics. Wow. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and close down this street. What was that? So we just had an explosion right down the street from us. I have no idea what it was. Yeah, not exactly sure what that was, but we have a mess here. So, anyways, we have closed down the street here. Paramedics apparently tried and did not succeed to revive this guy. Okay, there we go. I've got him down. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and call for a coroner, I guess. We really don't have much of an option there. We'll go and call for a tow truck for this vehicle. Just so we can go ahead and get it out of here. It's going to be evidence and the crime, obviously. It was the weapon that the driver used to kill that person. So, Alright, corners are on scene. The tow truck is taking away our vehicle. And uh, hopefully we can hopefully we can revive this guy. Or not revive him, but uh, I mean, he's, he's gone. So... Yeah, they went ahead, yeah, killed by a car or a truck. It was definitely that vehicle, that truck. Um, this drunk person right here was driving. And, I mean, the ironic thing is he was already tagged for a hit and run on another pedestrian. And he's, he's going to continue driving drunk and hit somebody else. So, definitely not a smart move by this guy. 